Baby, thank you for joining us. Let's get right back to Mika Brzezinski and talk about this story that we were just talking about, the live version on Outnumbered. Um, because it, well, she did not get tearful. Okay, we're talking about the uh, host on another network, a competing network. Well, not really competing, but. Oh my, the shade. Uh -huh. Wow. Well, okay, we're just having fun with this, people. Um, but she was clearly. Uh, letting her audience know the way she felt, and she is a commentator for the network. It's fine to be emotional about things that you're passionate about. I don't have a problem with that. We were just talking about Robin Roberts getting emotional over Hurricane Katrina. If something happens that warrants real emotion, fine. But as we talked about, she was partying with Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago on New Year's evening, correct? There were pictures that came out on the internet. And again. And again, and again, they hang out yeah, often. It's, it's, not, it's not unusual. It's strange so you to just, me. You just undermined my uh, counter argument, Eric, because I was going to say, well, a lot of people pre him actually taking office felt like Donald Trump was saying a lot of stuff on the campaign trail, kind of being smart and strategic. But once he got in office, he would be different. He'd be more understated, kind of more um, reasonable, if their, their words. And then they have a very strong reaction to the way he's been. Uh, operating as president, but then Eric says they were just hanging out last week, so never mind. Well, that's true. It was last week, it was a couple of weeks ago. But but what's In what the are they doing? Past. I mean, they, yeah. they'll go from sure. we can't stand Donald Trump, he's awful, to he's the greatest thing, and he's doing exactly what he said he was going to do throughout for the last year and a half. To we can't stand him again. Yeah. They're flip flopping back and it's forth. It's not but even that. They're like he's Mika. he's mentally not capable. It's like really extreme pendulum swings from he's the greatest thing ever, he's the person who has changed the mold to he's a dangerous person. I'm scared. In a very brief amount of time. I mean, basically, he said, My offices were wiretapped. I want to know what's going on. And Mika sounded like she was extremely upset about that. Like, why are But I just don't get well, why, I don't understand why, why, and I'll call her a journalist, why you're just not asking questions and why are there quickly just drawing conclusions without any real facts. It just it discredits you. Because she's people give her a lot of credit. They go to, they, she gets written up a lot. Did you see what Joe Amica did today? See where they are in Trump? And they get, they get a lot of eyeballs. And but so she uses that to, to you know, okay. to, to create a moment. But it's okay. political media. I mean, I would, you know, a lot more people are paying attention to this network than anything they're doing outside Absolutely. the Beltway. Yep. <laughs> okay. I'll put um, as much shade <laughs> as you want. Um, <laughs> uh oh. What? Paul loves Megan Deerings. Okay, that's oh, good. Yeah, fabulous. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. I did notice those, and they are quite good. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. I've been staring at yours, Sandra. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, hour. thanks. Actually, somebody tweeted me that I needed to fix my earring. Isn't that funny? Because it was flipped back at one point. I said yeah. thank you, yeah. and I corrected. Yeah, thank, thank you. Oh, you noticed but didn't say anything? Well, we were on air. <laughs> I mean, we were talking about China. <laughs> uh, I was looking at I'm do. teasing with you. Okay, so by the way, can I just say, tell you right now, we have a record on our outnumbered overtime. We are Woo. cooking. Uh, cooking awesome. with Mazzola. Is that right, Jay? Missoula? Um, yeah, <laughs> something like that. All right, so, okay, sorry, I'm going to try to move on from that subject, but I think part of the reason that it's cooking is everybody's weighing in on uh, that particular story. Let's get back to the um, accusations coming from the president. Um, Eric Bowling, since you are on the couch right now, and where do you think this story is eventually going to so, go? So they had something there for a while that, that President Trump said that President Obama directed the NSA or whomever to surveil him, wiretap him. You, I'm not sure you can prove that. You certainly, a, a, a president can talk to his Department of Justice and say, hey, can you look at this? And in that case, it would have been President Obama could have said to, to uh, um, the DOJ, uh, Loretta, Loretta, Loretta Lynch, say, hey, maybe you want to take a look at this. Then she can ins instruct her FBI to, to go to the FISA court sure. and take a look. Clearly, we know. General Flynn was being surveilled. Clearly, we know, according to the New York Times, Trump Tower is being surveilled. Mm -hmm. Do we know President Obama directed it? Who knows? But when all three directors, Comey, Clapper, um, uh, uh, Hayden, say nothing was going on, no electronic surveillance is going on, that, that cannot be possible. Cannot, period. But aren't those two really different statements, right? That there was possibly, and I, I'm totally open to believing that there was actual surveillance. I totally am open to believing that.